All right, hello YouTube. Today we will be talking maths. And let's see, I'm gonna start out with the intention of the video. And the intention of, of the video is to, is to give you a top down view of mathematics. I've learned over the years, you know, learning math that we kind of learn it from the bottom up, the specifics and then to the general. Going from arithmetic, then to algebra, and generalizing to calculus and etc. And to be honest, I feel like a top-down look at it from general to specific might actually make it easier. Also, I want to show how math and music connects. So, here we go. So, the way algebra works is that you have, at the top, universal algebra, then there's abstract algebra, and then there's algebra algebra. So, let me start with universal algebra. Universal algebra is simply the study of an algebraic structure. What is an algebraic structure? Really, this is very simple. So say you have a set of objects, say you had a container, and you can put anything in it. Normally in math, you put numbers in there, but you can put anything in there if you really want to, to be honest, like even notes, which I'll get to later. So you have a set of objects, anything. Then there's something you can do to this object um, called an operator. If you ever learned what a function is, it's basically you throw something in and then it spits something out based on what you threw in. So, you know, the plus, the minus, the multiplication, those are operators. And it has a set of what's called axioms. They're, it's basically a fancy math word for rules. So when you hear, you know, associativity property or transitive property, these are axioms of an algebraic structure. So to recap, universal algebra talks about algebraic structures. Algebraic structures are basically sets of objects, something you can do to the object, and the rules that govern how these objects work. Cool. Now, the next layer under is something called abstract algebra, and you can actually use this to understand music theory a lot better. It, um, abstract algebra deals with the specific types of algebraic structures. For instance, a group is basically a set of objects. In this case, we'll use notes. There is an operator being able to go up and down the notes, the scales. And then there is an axiom, which is, a, which is there's a couple more axioms than what I'm going to say, but the one in particular is closure. So you know how notes cycle, so you can go up the keyboard from C to C. This is how closure works in math. Basically, anything you do to your set of notes can only give you an answer that's within that set of notes. So there's no way you can go all the way up past C and create some other you know, note. It always loops around. This is a group, a mathematical group. So again, I'm going to resummarize. A group is basically a set of objects. You can do something to it, but it must have closure, meaning anytime you do something to the set of objects, the answer has to be in that set of objects, just like musical scales. So once you know that and you start learning more of the rules of how groups work, you know, math plus music equals who knows what music theory stuff you come up with afterward. Well, I know, but who knows what stuff y'all can come up with. So what exactly is in algebra before we move from abstract algebra to algebra well first things we gotta talk about is this thing called a field so remember when you were learning about associativity commutativity and all that such well apparently that's talking about a field arithmetic is a field which is basically you have a set of objects no um, numbers in this case you can do um, two you have two operators Addition and multiplication, they come with separate rules, you know, the identity elements, you know how you have, you know, uh, identity under addition, anything plus zero equals itself, identity under multiplication, anything times one equals itself, things like that, it has a lot of rules like that, also with the associativity, etc, cetera, etc, cetera. but also they can be inverted, that's also something that a field has to have to be a field, and that's how you get your, um, division and your subtraction what an algebra is is this is so for anyone doing 
physics and stuff don't understand this. This is going to get crazy. What, what an algebra is, is that you take a vector space, like in physics, and you map it to the field. And it also has an extra operator called a scalar multiplication. But we're not, you don't have to understand what that meant if you don't, you're not that deep in math. But that's pretty interesting that basically algebra as we know it is just a vector space, which is pretty interesting. Um, next up, algebra, algebra. Now what algebra is, is basically just the algebra on the field of numbers. So basically all it is is just us generalizing stuff from how numbers work based on that field. And the reason it's so hard to really put that into words is because as you start getting more and more specific, more and more rules and different things start showing up. That's how you get the linear lines and all the, just all those formulas and stuff. And it's because it's kind of like zooming in onto something that's so huge. So a universal algebra, you're just talking about the basic structure. Oh, you got stuff and you can do stuff to it. Here's a couple rules and that's it. Um, with with you, with uh, abstract algebra, you create certain types of objects. There's objects called groups, rings, fields, etc. in algebra itself. And you can, you know, figure out how the rules and how those work. But you don't necessarily have to put anything in the sets. You don't got to talk about numbers or anything to do abstract or universal algebra. But when you start talking about numbers, which is how we understand general algebra, that's when things start getting a little specific. It's kind of like how when we zoom into the body and the cells and all its little pieces, it starts to get more and more fuzzy and grainy, and you got to be very particular with what part does. It's kind of the same thing. So yeah, I hope that helped some kind of insight. It probably got a little too technical near the end, but... Yeah, I just wanted to, I guess, put this out here and get the conversation started. Uh, hopefully this helped out, and as always, uh, have fun making stuff, yeah. <laughs>